Paul, we have a denial from the Minister, but what's the path forward for the government now? Well, there's two options, really. There's the old political playbook, the Minister goes on leave, as he has, and then wait for the whole thing to blow over. Now, the complainant in this terrible case died back in 2020. Uh, she didn't make a police complaint. Her claims were detailed in a statement that was sent to the Prime Minister and other politicians last week. But New South Wales police didn't, of course, have enough evidence to pursue the matter further. Uh, the other option is the pressure just keeps on building and an independent inquiry gets held. Now, the Attorney General Christian Porter is not willing to entertain that idea or step down as it sets a precedent. Now, here's what he had to say yesterday. If I stand down from my position as Attorney General because of an allegation about something that simply did not happen, then any person in Australia can lose their career, their job, their life's work based on nothing more than an accusation. Yeah, but the pressure does keep building for this independent inquiry. Labor and the Greens uh, want an inquiry into whether Mr Porter is a fit and proper person to be in Cabinet. But uh, even that raises fresh questions. How is fit and proper defined and how many other people in the Parliament might fail that test? But, of course, without going down that path, these questions just keep on lingering and there's an ongoing trial by media. Yeah, given that this really isn't the only serious sexual harassment scandal facing the Morrison government, is it realistic then for the Prime Minister to have Christian Porter return to his cabinet? Well, first off, you're quite right. That isn't the only scandal. And, of course, there's still the case of the staffer, Brittany Higgins, who claims she was raped by a colleague in the office of the Defence Minister back in 2019 after a late-night drinking session. Uh, the Defence Minister, Linda Reynolds, is also out on stress leave, and there were questions even emerging today over how she handled that complaint. And, yeah, there's no shortage of other rumours and allegations of sexual harassment, which has been aired in the local media. We, we won't go into it here. Uh, but in short, there are major questions around workplace safety and culture in the Parliament House. Uh, this is going to be a major test for the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. Uh, Christian Porter's forever going to be having this question hanging over him now with the complainant now deceased. And, of course, restoring him to Cabinet is going to carry a political cost. Leaving him out of Cabinet is going to carry a political cost. So it's a really terrible and, and difficult situation.